Hi there! Thanks for joining us at Shelly's Beauty Studio. I'm Shelly and today I want to show my viewers a really really amazing new skincare product that I discovered. It's made by a Japanese lady from Japan called, I believe, um, I hope I'm pronouncing it right, called Mayuki Maeda and she designed and created the skincare line called Black Paint. So Black Paint um, was a product of when she was helping her daughter heal from a kidney disease, she ended up studying a lot of physiology and bacteriology and then so her skincare company kind of came about as well that way. She discovered and learned a lot and created this wonderful skincare line that's all about taking away um, all the germs and dirt from your pores and deep cleansing the pores with natural ingredients. This is a very organic based line that uses um, the main ingredient in the soap is, well, I'm not a main, sorry, a big ingredient in the soap is the charcoal called Kishu Bicotan, which is a very um, purifying mineral charcoal that is they found in Japan. And when you use this charcoal, along with all the nourishing organic oils, there's 23 different nourishing organic oils in here, it actually helps to remove all your makeup, all your dirt, all the oils, all the grime on your face very well, but also it actually helps make your skin's natural uh, natural skin cleansing trigger work as well. So that way it actually helps to pull out the impurities that you have under your skin, whether you see it or not. So like blackheads, whiteheads, sometimes um, when you're getting enlarged pores, you'll notice that uh, the pore size is bigger, but there's something stuck in there, but you can't see it yet. So it helps you to purify all that. So I want to show you how this works. I'm going to just tie up my hair first. So then um, I'm going to show you on my face how black paint this actually ends up looking like. It's really cool. It's, um, it does look like black paint. Maybe that's why they named it black paint. So this bar on its own is a cold press bar. So they use the traditional method of cold pressing soap to make this wonderful bar, uh, wonderful bar so that way none of the enzymes and nutritional values are lost. So you have to soak it in warm water. They say for about 40 seconds. Um, I usually don't soak it for as long but they say soak it until you can actually put an imprint of your finger in is when the soap will be ready. Um, you can either dip it in a soap a, a, bowl, a, a bowl of water like this or you can actually just um, I guess put it under running water as well. So this is my little soap dish here. I'll move that here. And as you can see, it's getting pretty dark, right? So I have a full face of makeup on right now because we were just filming other episodes and I'm going to show you how black it turns out. So the way you use it is that you use all the edges of the soap. So that way when it, um, when you're done each usage, it will always come back to the shape. I'm just going to show you an imprint of my finger here so that means the soap is ready to go and we're just going to put it everywhere. So with this soap you'll smell it as well as you'll feel it. There's no alcohol, no artificial ingredients, colors in here and you could just feel it working. So now that you have the black paint on, black paint soap on, you can um, Massage it for five minutes. They do recommend you massage it for five minutes and upward and outward motions. So when you do that, um, you can add a bit of water if you want. Now this is black, as you can see, and gray and charcoal, but if you actually put it on the white towel um, and wash it out, it washes right out very clean. So we want to massage this for five minutes. You can go probably to the orbital eye area here, but I wouldn't go closer because um, if you went a little bit closer, because due to this product is a little bit more alkaline, it will actually cause stinging in the eyes, which we don't want it to get in your eyes. Now, this product, um, I find that sometimes when I'm at home, I can't massage for five minutes like this because I just don't have the time. Um, but it, even if you didn't massage it for five minutes, you'll actually notice it working. So at home, what you could do is, um, what I sometimes do is I'll just um, leave it on for five minutes like this so it almost looks like a mask um, and I'll wash my hair and wash my body and then that would be the five minutes and then I'll remove it. So the removal, I'm going to show you how to remove it really well in the next episode using their Conjac chocolate sponge. So right now 
Um, if you want to remove it, you can actually remove it with just water, warm water, or using their sponge. Their sponge is a really unique way to remove it, so I wanted to do a video on that as well to show you that as well. Um, with this product, um, you don't have any detergents in there, no harsh chemicals in there. Um, the 23 different organic oils in there, I just wanted to read you some of that of the list because it's actually amazing. So there's coconut oil, jojoba seed oil, olive oil, almond oil, um, lavender oil, green tea leaves, damask rose, um, macadamia nut oil, avocado oil, rosehip oil, grapeseed oil, evening primrose oil, black seed oil, borage seed oil, safflower oil, sunflower seed oil, peanut nut oil, um, apricot kernel oil, hazelnut seed oil, rose oil. So all of these oils are so nourishing on the skin and you can feel it while you have it on. So this product is actually really good for all skin types, all the way from super um, sensitive or super dry and dehydrated to even the oiliest, harshest, thickest skins that um, need a lot of detoxifying. So this is a very good detoxifying agent as this coal, sorry, charcoal, is actually used in Japan as well to help purify the air, purify the water. It absorbs away all the bad ions and it actually purifies all your surrounding areas to give you a better well-being. So you can actually smell the wonderful effects of this product. And yeah, so yeah, so we're gonna leave it on for five minutes and I will see you in the next episode on how to remove it. Thank you for watching so much and I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and like and subscribe.